Hey everybody, what's up? I'm Dylan D. Welcome back to the channel and it's time for another video. Today's video is another special one. I have always wanted to try World Edit and was feeling inspired after naming the new four directional flying machine the UFO Death Cannon. And I actually got some help from another YouTuber on naming this robot. And if you want to find out who it is, I encourage you to subscribe because in my next video, which will be a tutorial for three different sized UFO Death Cannons for Java Edition 1.16.1 and up, I will reveal this top secret information. Or should I say, declassify the information. Regardless of phrasing, I have not forgotten about the mega builds. They're just so mega. So here's an update sneak peek at just half of the upcoming mega build, a flying cityscape. And you can see it's even lagging the sky through the replay mod, it's so mega. Which if you're a regular on my channel, you know that is very hard to do. Uh, Survival with D will also be making a comeback given that 97% of the people who voted on a poll from a video last month said that they want more. So we're rebooting the server for round two. And lastly, I'm adding a join button to the channel here very soon as well for those who would love to contribute toward making this channel even better. But with all that being said, I encourage you to like this video if you would like to see more world edit builds like this one. I'd love to see if we can get this video to 250 likes though, and since everyone has been destroying the like button, I've already put the world download in the description if you would like to walk around in this massive build yourself. And I have to tell you, it is super satisfying building and not having to worry about the 12 block push limit at the same time. Now don't get me wrong, I love my slimestone machines, but I also love to just step back and build something beautiful. And the first thing that came to my mind was actually making a giant cosmic space cloud that was being converted into some sort of energy beam. And by this point, the only thing that I had really done is watch a tutorial for um, setting your block brushes. And that's all I'd really done. It just made a brush that did a lot of really cool glass stuff. Now, at this point, the energy beam actually raises the more questions than it gives answers as to what's happening. Um, you know, what is it attacking, for example? Uh, so after going through a ton of different things here, I'm going to go ahead and decide that we're going to make a kind of mountainous village, because obviously, what does every slime block machine in any video you've ever seen do? It attacks a village. But who's just going to want some normal old village? And even though I don't really have the inspiration at this moment, I'm going to go ahead and copy paste some houses from a nearby village into this area area and make them look really ruined until, of course, I obviously get that uh, inspiration flowing. And that inspiration did not take long at all to hit. Uh, what I mean is that as soon as I started building the trees for the village, there was only one type of tree I wanted to build and had inspiration to build, and that was a Japanese cherry blossom tree. And of course, a special thank you and shout out uh, to Gemini Tay and her tutorial um, for how to build a cherry blossom tree and a couple other trees as well. There'll be a link in the description for that. And to make the build look more animated, I made some of the blossoms look as if they were being projectiled off of the tree in the opposite direction of the cosmic space beam. I'm also going to go ahead and throw in an angel statue. No significance here, I just thought it looked aesthetically pleasing with the build. And we all know an alien build is not complete until you throw some cows being abducted in there somewhere. Finally channeling that inspiration from earlier, I'm going to go ahead and transform these village houses into a more traditional Japanese style. Next up, I'm going to go ahead and build a Japanese bell tower, and in which I actually got this bell tower from a YouTuber named Cortez Arino. Well, obviously, there'll be a link in the description for that video as well. As you can see, I've gone ahead and pushed back the grass and bedrock and everything like that to kind of get a more void feel for this build. Obviously because I wanted to put it through Blender and get a 360 GIF at the end. And by this point, I'm sure everyone is wondering where exactly this inspiration came from. Well, I've been drawing and designing anything I could get my hands on since I was a kid, so I'm easily inspired. And the Minecraft YouTuber that inspired me the most for this video is named Megray. She does beautiful time lapses of these mega builds and then renders them into a 360 GIF using Mineways, Blender, and Photoshop. If you want to check that out, then I encourage you to check out her channel. Link will definitely be in the description. And with a few more aesthetic touches, I feel we can go ahead and throw this build into some shaders and see what it really looks like. But really quick, if you haven't already, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel and tap that bell button if you want to be the first to know when I upload a new video. And if you've already subscribed, well, you know you're the best. And if you've just subscribed, let me know with a sunglasses emoji in the comments section below.
All right, so picture this. You're relaxing in your local ramen shop and suddenly hear an explosion. The chef looks noticeably terrified before hopping the counter, utterly screaming, Aliens! Unfortunately, the chef's suspicions were confirmed when an alien mothership and her posse began abducting the poor defenseless cows of the village. But of course, this happens all the time, so it's almost normal. I mean, the cows don't seem to mind feeling what it's like to finally fly. I mean, they look down now on the chickens that bullied them. Okay, I might be getting carried away just a little bit, but it's really awesome the way that this build turned out, especially through the shaders. But I would love to hear what you all think in the comments below. Again, this was my first time using World Edit to construct a scene, so I'm always open to what I can do better next time around. Uh, as promised though, after hours and hours of learning a minuscule amount about Blender and animation software tool, here's the 360 GIF of the build, which I know I've been saying wrong this whole time, but you can just pick which one is the correct way and use that one. Uh, next video will be a tutorial for the three different size death cannons, so I hope to see you there. But above all else, you guys, just thank you so much for watching. If more videos like this one are what you are after, then I encourage you to check out the first option here where I build a massive Fire Nation airship. But of course, if you want to see what my channel thinks is best for the viewer, I encourage you to check out the second option.